hey guys today i want to share with you that one secret that allowed me to revise everything that i read throughout the year in the last one month just before the examination and i want to share that with you go ahead and watch the whole video for that Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Noor Saida, an endodontist and a part-time YouTuber and I love to make videos on exam strategies, my experiences with competitive examination, productivity habits and also a lot of guidance on NEET MDS. So let's jump on to the main topic today that is what is that secret that helped me revise whatever I read throughout the year in the last one month. Well I constantly keep telling you that revision is the key to success and if there is no revision then whatever you are putting the hard work that you're putting is almost nullified well let's go ahead and understand that one secret that basically helped me uh, revise everything that i read throughout the year it made my life extremely easy and it made it productive for me the meaning of productivity is that i was able to get results from what hard work i invested into it now what I'm trying to say here is if you're not able to foresee your results then I don't think you have the right attitude of studying or whatever you are studying which means you need to see what results you will achieve from whatever you are studying. So that it has to fetch you some result, right? Now, if you're just studying with an attitude by saying, okay, I just have to finish the portions, I just have to complete the portions, you're not going anywhere. You need to foresee what this is going to bring you and that foreseeing is that will you be able to revise whatever you are studying today or for that one year or for that five to six months of preparation because remember revision is the only key that will fetch you the results for these kind of multiple choice question or applied based questions or competitive examinations. Okay, so you need to foresee, you need to be able to revise in the last one month everything that you have read because that's how the human mind works. You need to revise, you need to reinforce. So having understood the human mind like this, I made this one book concept because I understood this, uh, I have to revise otherwise I'm not going to remember thing very very early in my career. And I'm going to share this with you because I wanted to I wanted to bring benefit to you as well. So what did I do now? First of all, I selected a base book for whatever competitive examination that you were doing. For example, if neat MDS, I selected my base book as dental pulse. So what is the meaning of base book? A base book will be a book wherein I will try to put in material how much ever I can. And that will be the only material that I will be revising in one month before the exam. Only that and nothing else. I'm not going to pull up this book, pull out this book, pull out this book, get irritated, get frustrated by saying, oh, there's so much to study, there's so much to revise. That attitude you should not have. So concise everything in one place. So what did I do? Every chapter that I was studying, for example, if I was studying salivary glands from the oral pathology, one of our extra points that I got filtered from a textbook or from an other, another material that I was reading. For example, I finished the salivary glands uh, MCQs and the explanation for the answers from the dental pulse. Then I went back and read my textbook. I found some extra points. I wrote it down in a paper. Okay. And then I picked up um, another book, maybe Bhatia or maybe I picked up Neeraj Vadwan and I found some extra MCQs that were tough that were not repeated in dental pulse were not present in dental pulse and I wrote those questions or answers down in a form of a statement in a paper and what did I do I stuck this paper on the same chapter of dental pulse or in the synopsis of oral pathology so which means that my salivary gland chapter is a concise or a condensed form of dental pulse or some other book and a textbook and it has everything all important questions uh, i have covered everything of those important questions uh, in salivary glands which means that if any question tends to come from salivary gland in my examination 80 to 90 percent i will be able to answer it because i have reached some places uh, and extended places apart from dental pulse correct but what happens towards the exam if you have returned these notes elsewhere what happens towards the exam 
you will be so busy just revising dental pulse you will be so irritated revising dental pulse that you will not be able to pick up any other book or you will not be able to revise any other book even though you have marked the difficult questions in those books so what happens here is that hard work was a waste because you no longer remember those difficult questions you are still confused with them so in the, if the question comes in the examination you will probably not be able to answer it so you need to at least have a glance so that one second glance will also give you a big deal of you know reinforcement in your mind so if you have it then and there there and there in that dental pulse you're just glancing through one more mcq or another mcq another 10 mcqs from a different textbook or a different mcq book and you have a con con you know condensed version in one place so this is a very important uh, trick when done consistently over a period of time uh, initially it looks a little kind time consuming it feels like you have to put in a lot of efforts but it does bring about you know compounding effect like i said it br brings about the results in the end because you have revised two or three books from different places just one one month before the exam which probably hardly 10% of the students will be able to do before the competitive examinations and you have already you know cross that uh, barrier of competitive examination now i'm not trying to judge anybody here but that's how the competitive examination work because you have to beat the other person to go above because it's a competition and you have to achieve your results right only if you reach that rank you will be able to get the seat because that's how the exam system is so you have to you know be competitive in nature and you have to get get your results from there and this is one thing that really really helped me um initially i did not realize when i was doing it but the end of the year when i had an entire thing condensed in one place because i foresaw that okay i have to revise all this otherwise i'll not be able to remember and i revised everything from dental pulse so i had information collected from two or three places in just one book okay so that's how you should be able to do and uh, one another small piece of advice is that pick up books pick up notebooks where you write your notes which have spiral bound in them so that you're easily able to tear and stick it wherever you want so you have like a customized note so now you have a customized competitive uh, textbook or a competitive mcq book of your own you know uh, which is customized from two or three different books and this is what you will be revising just one month before the examination and nothing else and this will suffice so that's how i i approached my examination and that's how i was able to achieve a uh, rank 2 in my competitive exams and um i hope uh, this will bring you benefit and this will bring you results too if done consistently it will definitely definitely bring results um uh, if this has brought value please leave a comment in the comment section so that i understand that these kind of videos are helpful i'll also go ahead and watch the entire playlist on neat mds guidance which is there on my youtube channel and i'm sure that will bring you guidance as well uh if you found this uh, video valuable please leave a comment it will i will understand that this is helpful and thank you for watching the video and have a good day and all the best for your examinations For more such videos please like share follow and subscribe my YouTube channel you can also follow me on Instagram have a good day thank you